Hello, welcome back to the channel. I just got something super exciting in the mail, and so I just wanted to film an unboxing really quick before I even looked at it, but this video will have a couple of different parts to it probably, because I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using this for, and it's going to be pretty exciting. So I, this is from Bridgerton, which is like a TV show. I don't watch that, but I thought that this Victorian uh, theme is so beautiful and I just literally could not resist. I ordered this right when I saw the email from the Happy Planner come through. Oh, that's so pretty. This author finds herself compelled to share the most curious of news. Oh, it's so pretty because I'm an author, so like this really spoke to me. <laughs> um, I knew that this box would sell out like really, really fast because I know Bridgerton is like a popular thing. So I didn't even hesitate. I literally just bought it. <laughs> um, and I actually saw, this has only been out for a couple of days on the website and I saw it's already sold out. And so I was really glad that I just went ahead and got it. Um, so this is just like a little card. Um, these are like fake wax seals. And then these are little note cards. I'll open all of this, but I'm just going to show you really quick. That's a little notebook, like notepad. Here is a sticker book. A quill pen, which I'm so excited about. Ah, it's so pretty. Um, this is like half sheet paper that folds out. This is a bookmark. It says C and B seen. And then this is what I was really excited about. This is a notebook. It says, Dearest Gentle Reader, Did You Miss Me? <laughs> and then these gold discs are a little bit different. They have like a different design in them. I guess this probably goes with the, the Bridgerton theme, I guess. But look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. just want to go through this really quick. This is like a frosted cover. That's so cool. They don't do these frosted covers very often. So this is the backing paper behind it, and it's the same on both sides. I sort of wish they did something different here so you could flip it if you wanted to. Um, but it is pretty. what one of the dividers looks like and then this is what the note paper looks like in the middle it's lined really light lines and this is what it looks like so it's really pretty it's like a bright pink I don't know if the color is coming through as well on my desk but it's pretty bright pink and then this says your move your majesty and then there's not, nothing quite like the sweet scented smell of success. It's clear the season won't be quite so fragrant for everyone. And then that's what the back of that looks like. I love this. I wish that this would have been like the paper back here. That is so pretty. And that's what the back looks like. And then this back thing is just completely clear except for Happy Planner right there. I wonder if I could do something kind of like this. I don't know if it's, it's going to work. I just thought I'd try it out. I mean, I know they're upside down, but... See how cute that would have been? I actually like that. I might just keep it like that, honestly. Because when a mirror is laying on a table, it can it can be facing either direction, right? That's so cute. Um, and then if you flip it with that, you can't even tell that, you know, if I keep that there. Um, and then I can put whatever dividers I want in here, and I'm actually planning on turning this into my new, like, writing journal system, um, because I just need, I need something new. I need a new inspiration for my writing. I get that way sometimes when I'm working on a project. Right now I am working on a project and I'll talk about it a little more in the next section of this video, but I just really wanted, I wanted to use this for that uh, writing project and actually all of 2024, all my writing projects I'm going to stick in here because I just, I already have a writing 
journal that I've shown on this channel before, but I'm going to do a new setup for the new year. And what better way to do it than with this, right? And I'm really sorry that this is sold out. I know it's so annoying when people post stuff like this and you can't even get it anymore, but hopefully they will restock because it sold out in like three days. It was insane. Um, that's what this paper looks like. But hopefully Happy Planner gets smart and just restocks it because I'm sure a lot of other people will buy it as well. Look at that. That's so pretty. Oh my. Oh, it's not, it's not one of those pens. <laughs> you just write with it, okay. Oh, it's a twisty one. So it's probably not gonna be like the best quality pen. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But look how pretty that looks with this. And then I'll go through the sticker book here in just a second. Um, real quick, this is the notepad. It's got a crown and some like leaves on it. It's really pretty. And let's see if they're sticky. They are, they're just like big sticky notes. So that's cool. These are really cute because they're like sticky. You can stick them on stuff. And they're just little wax seals with the lady's head on it. That's so cute. There's four of them. I'm gonna be scared to use these because there's only four. <laughs> oh, okay, they go with these. So if I wanted to send a little note to someone, that is so pretty. This says on a happy note. Lady Whistledown Society Papers, this just in. And then this author finds herself compelled to share the most curious of news. And then it comes with the envelopes and the seals. So I could, I guess, send those to people. I don't know. I don't know if I would, but it's cute anyway. Um, and then here is the sticker book. It's called House of Bridgerton. Oh, that's so cool with the neon, the purple. That's so pretty. These are all on clear paper. These are on clear paper, foiled. So are these. Oh, wait, no. Yes, clear paper. I guess maybe they're all clear. Nope, these are paper boxes. Paper icons. That's so pretty. Paper, clear, paper. That's also paper. This is two. I really like these. That's so pretty. I love these ones. Paper, paper. Obviously, all the boxes will be paper so that you can write on them. I like how there's so many. This will last me a long time. That's paper, too. So is this. These say, like, buy, do, mail, send, pick up. So, like, errands. That's so pretty. This is unclear as well. Paper. Paper. Clear. Clear paper, paper. Oh, that's my favorite sheet with all the pink and purple. This box was literally made for me, even though I don't watch the show. But wow, that is just so pretty. One more thing I wanted to do for this portion of the video is change out the discs. So Gold discs, I, I do like them, but at the same time, like, I want something else. I didn't even look at this yet to see if it would look good, but I kind of wanted to do these purple discs. Oh, yeah. That's going to be so cute because pink and purple together are my favorite. And I have all these purple discs that I'm not currently using, so I think using it for this setup will be really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and change out the discs, and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. So another reason that I wanted to do this is I knew that I would love the look of the purple with the pink here, and I do. I think it looks so cute. So this is what everything looks like. Yep, I love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> That's so pretty. And the fact that this is like reader and author type themed is just perfect. It's honestly perfect. So I want to use these 
in here as much as possible. So I'll come back probably tomorrow with an update on what I've added in here. Um, but for now, this is kind of what I'm doing. I love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> okay, so I'm back uh, really quick just to show you what I ended up with for this book. And then also I uh, want to show you what I did with the box too. That this came in. So what I did with the art from the top, like inside flap of the box, is I just cut it out. And I had this frame already that I got at a thrift store. And so I just opened the frame on the back and put it in. It's a little bit too short, but I just stuck some scrapbook paper behind it. So that's what it looks like on top of my bookshelf right now. So very cute. And then over here I have this like white shelf. I've never shown this room on video before so I'll probably do like a tour of this room at some point but I just stuck the rest of the box <laughs> because I, I felt like it fit pretty well on one of these little shelves that I have and then I just put this swan inside so I just wanted to show you what I did with the rest of the box so I started out with those purple discs and while I absolutely love the look of it the discs didn't turn as smooth as I would have liked but these pink discs that I have turn beautifully like everything just glides on these these pink discs and I still think it looks really really cute so this is what I ended up with um so this uh you saw that I flipped it upside down so the quote that used to be here that's like right here was upside down and so I figured that um I'd probably just end up keeping it like this because I love this pattern a lot so I just went ahead and took one of the note cards that came with this set and just cut out the front and stuck it here so that it looks fine like it it looks like it was meant to be this way and this is just another one of the note cards because I thought it was really pretty so I just punched that and stuck it in here um, I stuck a couple of sheets of these little extras that it came with uh, you can see that's the one I wrote on I stuck some other stuff in here so this is each section is going to be for a different writing project that I'm working on. So this book right now that I'm working on is called Bride of the Mountain King. And I'm actually like pretty far into the story. I have like 52,000 words total in it right now and I'm still working on it. And a couple of big sections still need to be written. So it's going to be a full length novel. And these are just some like vision boards I made for the story. I already have the cover made so that's how I got this. Uh, image right here but then these are just like from mid journey I just typed in a prompt and had it generate some stuff for me so it's kind of like it all takes place like underground in caverns so here's two images I have it generate and then here's three more just to kind of give me some inspiration while I'm writing and then I made like a vision board of the main character and then just some other some other like scenes from where the story is going to be located. Some more here. And then some of like the inside of the castle. I just wanted to have something to reference as I was writing. And then I put some pretty paper that I had stashed away in one of my other notebooks. I just thought it went really well with this set up so I stuck a few of them in here well I stuck all the ones that I had left of this in here I wish I had more of these these are so pretty I got them a really long time ago and then here's some pages that came with it and I think it looks really pretty with the pink discs and um, I just stuck the bookmark in here and basically I'm just using this as like a brain dump notebook for my stories this is um, these dividers here aren't the ones that came with this. These are just ones that I already had. Like this was an old October month and I just stuck these stickers that say notes. So it doesn't really like tell me what it is just by looking at it. But each section, I'll know what it is because this it's just gonna have a couple of sections. So I just decorated this. Um, I covered it with, there was like a saying on this pink divider I had and I covered it up with just some scrapbook paper and then I put a couple of the stickers from the sticker book on here. I think it turned out really cute. And then I covered the whole back because this had a month on it. I think it was like May. 
um, and I wanted to cover that up too. So I just put some pretty scrapbook paper here, and I think the blue goes really cute with the pink. And then in this section, I just have a couple of these pages too, and then some of the pages that came with it. This was an October month. You can still kind of see that here, but it's okay. And then the back I covered with this pink scrapbook paper. And then this section, the papers look the same. Um, and then this last divider here, I put a couple more stickers. I had to cover up the whole thing with pink, uh, but I liked the color of the tab. So I just kept the tab, but I covered up this with scrapbook paper and this backside. And I just put a couple of the stickers here, kind of haphazardly, but I think it looks cute. And then the pages here are the same. And then back here, um, I punched this piece of cardstock that came with the box, but just because I thought it was pretty. And it shows me what came in it, so if I ever want to look back and see what came with it. Um, and then this folder is just a kind of a plain one that I had. I didn't really love this shade of pink, but... I put some stickers on it, again, very haphazardly, and I think that turned out really cute. It kind of matches everything now, but this is kind of what it looked like before, and then I just stuck this sticker here. Um, and then I put, these are just some stickers that came with one of my extension packs, and so in case I ever want to date anything, I'm just going to stick these in here in case I like want to have like month-specific pages or anything. And then uh, I stuck a couple of the big sticky notes on this back piece of cardstock just to have on hand. I was going to stick the whole pad in here, but then it kind of was too thick, so I just put a couple pieces. Um, but back to this, so I really wanted the disc to be able to turn nicely because I just want to be able to flip it open, write a note down, and then if I need to move it to a different section, I can, but I just want to be able to like access it very quickly and write down anything. Um, I think in the past I've been kind of not wanting to write notes down because I I don't know why I think I was just like scared to write stuff down on paper and I wanted to write it on the computer where I could like delete it and stuff but I think I want to get away from that and just start like doing more in my notebook for my writing notes so at first I thought maybe I would use this for like all the different areas of my author career but I think that's covered in other setups I have but I think for this I just want to do like story notes only so this will have sections for four different stories. So this one will be Bride of the Mountain King, and then I'll just, this is gonna be like a series that I do. So the next book in the series will go here, and the next book here, and the next book here. So it'll have enough for four books. And then I can always take pages out and put new pages in and continue using it. So I'm not gonna like make these be anything specific so I can continue to reuse them. So that's kind of what I ended up with as a writing journal setup. Uh, I tried to make everything be kind of coherent and pink and pretty. Oh, I added these pages too. I had these squirreled away somewhere. It just says happy notes. Um, these came with a, a different pack that I got a long time ago. So, yep, that's what everything looks like. I just wanted to show you what I ended up with and yeah, so I'm going to keep this out at all times. Like, just laying out on my desk so I can just grab it at any time and jot a note down. I might even keep it like by my bedside because I, I have a lot of ideas while I'm sleeping or just laying there. So I might keep it there too. But I'm going to probably cart it all over the house with me. <laughs> this is by far my favorite notebook setup I've ever done just because I love the look of it so much. So... I hope that you got a little bit of inspiration from this. Um, if you're a writer, I wanted to kind of show you this so that you know that, you know, if you want to use Mid Journey, I'll I'll have it linked below in case you've never heard of it before. But it's it's a really cool tool, especially for writers that are trying to visualize things that we're writing about. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm sure I'll see you again soon with a new video.